The News 4 Jackson I team is learning that a spat between the city of Jacksonville Beach and the Volunteer Life Saving Corps appears to have ended, and not on good terms. We're taking a live look at Jacksonville Beach right now through our Skycam. City leaders had been negotiating with a group of volunteer guards for months, but are now ending those talks after the city manager claims some volunteers intimidated and harassed staff lifeguards this weekend. Volunteers deny any harassment. This comes after a federal investigation into the number of hours lifeguards worked and volunteered. News for Jack's I-Team investigator Vic Michelucci shows us the breakup could cost taxpayers $125,000 a year. For decades, professional guards with Jacksonville Beach Ocean Rescue have protected beachgoers here Monday through Saturday. They're paid by the city. But then on Sundays and holidays, the volunteers took over, giving the guards a rest and taxpayers a break. But now that's changed. For 110 years, guards with the Volunteer Lifesaving Corps have donated their time to keep swimmers safe. But that tradition appears to have ended with this letter. Jacksonville Beach's city manager this week terminating the relationship. In the message, Mike Stephopoulos notes that negotiations were underway to come to an agreement. But this past Sunday, dozens of volunteers descended on the station and got in the way of paid guards. He said it caused city staff to feel extremely uncomfortable, intimidated, and harassed. We felt like we had, uh, we were on the road to success and a path forward. Charles Bond is a longtime volunteer guard and the past president of the nonprofit Volunteer Lifesaving Corps. He was in the negotiations with the city to try to keep the partnership going. So the city contends that the hostility was on the volunteers' side. Right. Yeah, they, they do say that. I was down here for most of it, uh, from 12.30 at least till 3, and I didn't witness anything personally. I've had numerous accounts of the members that were here. Talks had been underway since December, when the Department of Labor ordered the city to back pay professional guards who also volunteered. That cost Jacksonville Beach $250,000. Having paid guards on Sundays and holidays should cost the taxpayers an additional $125,000 a year, according to the city manager. This historic building is also a point of contention. The Red Cross owns it, but it's on city property. Now the city has changed the locks and banned volunteers from entering, which Bond says is not right. You're willing to negotiate if they are? Absolutely, 100%. City leaders want to reiterate that on Sundays and holidays from now on, there will still be lifeguards working regular hours. They'll just be paid by the city of Jacksonville Beach. I'm Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, the local station.